Hi, we're just going to talk a little bit about breadboard. Breadboard is a very useful tool for making circuits, prototyping them very quickly, just to check to see if they work, before committing to more expensive procedures and processes such as PCB. Here we have the breadboard itself, there, and this is what breadboard looks like underneath, here. You can clearly see conductors running vertically, there, and they correspond to these holes on the breadboard here. The horizontal conductors, these ones, correspond to these holes here. When we're fitting components to our breadboard, such as resistors, if we, I'm going to draw a resistor in here badly, if we connect it like so along the track, what we're actually going to do is have a short circuit there so the electrons will completely ignore your component and your circuit won't work. On the breadboard, that would look like this. If you connect a component like this, it won't work. Therefore, you must connect components across the tracks like so. On the breadboard, that would look like this. You can also, of course, connect components between the horizontal tracks. You can go diagonally. Doesn't matter as long as you're going across the tracks. The central break in the middle here, which corresponds to this break here, is used for connecting ICs such as 555 timers so that we don't get short circuits between the corresponding pins like so. Therefore a 555 timer would be fitted as you can see me drawing it very badly. If you wish to continue using this horizontal track you're going to need to join them over with links or wire. For example, if I wanted to connect my breadboard on the right, I would need to connect it with wire like that. That's about it. That's all we need to do to cover breadboard.